my name's Erin. I'm an admissions counselor here at SAGU, and I'm going to show you around our campus today. Right now, I'm in our Schaefer Center, um, right in front of our admissions office, so if you ever come to visit us in person, we'd love to meet with you here, get to know you, and answer your questions about the admissions process, uh, but let's get started. So I mentioned I'm here in the Schaefer building, so there's a lot going on here on a day-to-day basis. Right now I'm in front of the College of Bible and Church Ministry, so this is where the professor's offices are located. It's also where some classrooms are. So no matter what degree you choose here at SAGU, you will be taking some core Bible classes already integrated into your degree plan, and so you'll have the opportunity to go ahead and claim an associate's degree in religious studies. So at some point throughout your journey here at SAGU, you'll be right here in one of these classrooms. So we have pretty small class sizes, the average um, student to teacher ratio is about 15 students per one professor and so that creates a really great atmosphere for building personal relationships with your professors, having great discussions in class, and just really getting a personalized learning experience. So that's one thing that we really love about SAGU here. Our next stop is our chapel auditorium so you can see where we have chapel three days a week. So this is where we have chapel, th Wednesdays through Fridays. And so it's a great time to just come and kind of recenter, refocus on the Lord. It's basically like a church service. So we start off with worship and prayer, and then we have a speaker that could be a faculty or staff member, a student, or it could be an outside speaker from a pastor from another church in the area, a DYD. We have big name speakers as well, such as Robert Madu. So everyone is able to come to chapel because there's no classes scheduled during that time. And on Tuesday nights, instead of having chapel time in the morning, we have what's called dorm devotionals in the evening. So it's basically a Bible study led by your RA or your dorm pastor, and it's a much more casual setting where you just get to come and hang out, play games, read the Word, and talk about it together. One other thing about chapel, it is a requirement here at SAGU, so you'll attend um, as much as you can, but you do have a certain amount of skips that you can use throughout the semester in case you can't come every time, which is totally understandable. So next we're going to go to our Jeter prayer room and talk about some of our on-campus ministries. So this is our Jeter prayer room. This is open for students if you just want to come and have some quiet time, um, spend some time in prayer, but it's also used for different prayer ministries. So we have meetings throughout the week that are scheduled and that take place on a regular basis. It's also used for other events, most likely hosted by our SMA department, Southwestern Missions Association. So their offices are going to be our next stop and I'll talk a little bit more about what that means at SAGU. So this is where our SMA offices are located. SMA is a huge part of SAGU. It's made up of three parts. So we have our prayer ministries, which I talked about in the Jeter prayer room. We also have community outreach and world missions. So we have mission trips that go out every summer to places here in the United States and all across the world, and community outreach opportunities that happen on a weekly and bi-weekly basis here in Waxahachie and the DFW area. This area is also a great view of our gym here in the Schaefer Center. So this is where we have our professional basketball and volleyball games. We always encourage all of our students to come out and support our teams. So it's a great time being a part of the fan section and cheering on our Lions. So I definitely encourage you to take part in that as a student here at SAGU. So now we're downstairs in our main gym. This is one of three on our campus. I mentioned this is where we have our professional sporting events. And so one cool thing that we do at SAGU is just a fun and silly tradition, but it's called our SAGU snowstorm. So when you come to the first home basketball game, everyone gets a ping pong ball to hold with them in the stands. And when we score our first point, you throw it onto the court. So it makes a huge mess. It looks like snow coming down and it's probably the only snowstorm you're gonna get here in Texas. It's just a great way to build community and have a fun memory from your time here at SAGU. So this is our cafeteria. We call it the CAF for short. We're still in our Schaefer Center, so you can see, like I said earlier, there's a lot of things going on here. But they have a variety of food options open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we have a couple different meal plan options for you to choose. So as a student, you can either choose 12 or 15 meals per week or our unlimited option. With 12 or 15 meals, you'll also get a different amount of munch money or lion bucks. This is a credit on your SAGU ID card that you can spend at our Lion's Den, which is a fast food option, or at our Einstein's Bagels in the Hagee Communications Center, but you can come in here, um, sit down and eat with your friends or take your food to go if you need to and then just go about the rest of your day. So this is our Garrison Wellness Center. This is open for all of our students to come. You just scan your ID and then you can use any of the workout equipment. So downstairs we have a lot of free weights, machines, and then upstairs is more cardio. So the treadmills, ellipticals, um, bikes, all of those good things. And we also have racquetball, volleyball, that you'll be able to use the equipment from the front desk as well as ping pong. Part of our wellness center, they also have intramural sports for you to take part in. Those are super fun. You can build a team with your friends. These are aside from our professional sports. It's just a fun way to get together with friends and they have weekly tournaments for a variety of different sporting events. We also have an aquatic center here so you can enjoy the pool, hot tub, and sauna while you're here after your workout. 
So I'm outside Bridges dorm right now. This is one of five dorms on campus. We do have three different tiers of dorms, so there's different options with each one. They're gonna be set up a little bit differently, but most of all, what you're gonna be looking for is just to find a home here on campus. And so each dorm is unique in its community atmosphere, in the events that they hold. So each of them have their own events just for their dorm and then for the whole campus to enjoy. So for example, Bridges has Pancake Mondays. That's just a famous tradition, so they always keep that going. Teeter does Teeter Coffee House. Collins Stock is from Collins Dorms. There's a lot of ways that we try to build community and make it feel like a family here at SAGU. Every dorm is led by a dorm pastor, so they're there to be in charge of day-to-day -day operations as well as lead the dorm as a pastor. And then each hall is led by a resident assistant. So your RA is your go-to person if you ever need anything, you can talk to them. They also help plan hall events as well as host the dorm devotionals on Tuesday nights. And so they're a great resource for you and a great way to make you feel at home. And every dorm is going to be set up with all of the furniture that you would need. So you have your bed, dresser, desk, closet, and a microwave and refrigerator for you to use. So anything additional, you can feel free to bring that and create your own space. So Teeter Dorm is located right across from Bridges and these two are mirror images. So they're gonna be set up exactly the same and they are in our top tier of dorm options, but they're also the newest dorms are gonna be a little bit bigger. So now you see Gwines, this is in our second tier of dorms. And so this is also suite style. So same kind of setup as Bridges and Teeter, but they have great community here. They have a nice big lobby for events and for you to hang out, do homework, or just play games with friends. They're also located right next to our sand volleyball courts, which is a huge um, attraction here at SAGU for our students. So you can take some time out of class or in the evenings and play a game with friends. And they utilize their patio for a lot of their events as well. So Savelle is also kind of in the center of campus. Now this one is community style. So this is in our third tier of dorms. And so you'll still have a hall of 20 to 30 people on it led by your RA. They have their own events as well. And so it's a fun place to be. So Kendrick is our only all girls dorm on campus and it's a smaller one. So it only holds about 20 students and it's also suite style. It's in the middle range with Gwine. So it's gonna be that same price range and pretty much the same setup here. So they have a nice lobby area to hold different events and a very close knit community here. So Collins is our another one of our third tier dorms. It's in the same bracket as Savelle. So same thing here, I've mentioned this on every dorm, it's very much community and oriented. And so it's a great place to be and lots of fun events to attend. So this is our Barnes Student Center. This is open for you to come and just hang out or do homework or take advantage of some of the different resources located here. So we have our student congress offices. So the executive offices are here, their club room, their meeting room. So if you're ever interested in getting involved in leadership, this is a great opportunity. They also help plan and lead different events that happen on campus, such as homecoming. And then they also are a voice for the student body. So if you have new ideas about improvements or changes, you can go to them or you can be a part of their organizations and extracurricular activities to try to make those things happen. Our SAGU Lion's Den is located here. This is the fast food option that I mentioned earlier. So you can use your munch money or lion bucks on your SAGU ID to get food here. You can also use a meal replacement from the cafeteria here. Our mail center is also located here. So every student at SAGU is going to be issued a box number. So you'll be able to send and receive mail and packages. So make sure that you take advantage of that while you're here, have your parents send you a care package. And then our Career Development Center is also here. This is where you can go if you need help writing a resume, editing a resume, prepping for a job interview, looking for an internship, looking for a job on campus or off campus. All of those things, they do a great job at providing those services. So I definitely recommend that you stop and see them throughout your time here. So this is our Foster Center. This is home to our education department. So whether you're elementary ed, middle and secondary, you'll have a lot of classes in here. So our ed program is really great. They have 100% passing rate on state exams for certification. And our professors and staff do a really great job at placing you in a good fit for your student teaching and helping you build connections so that you can get a job right out of college. So I'm outside the Davis building now, which is home to several offices on campus, including our learning centers, which offers free one-to-one -one tutoring services for our students. So if you ever need help in a class or uh, studying for finals, or if you just need help editing a paper, you can set up an appointment with them. It's also home to our financial aid department. So they're gonna help you get your financial aid award letter together. They can answer questions about the FAFSA, loans, scholarships, all of those things. So our student billing department is also here. So if you ever have questions about your bill or the payment plan options, you can reach out to them and they can help you with that. 
Our registrar's office is also located here, so in between semesters, if you need help setting up your schedule or if you have questions about your degree plan or transfer credits, you can reach out to them. It also is home to our business services department as well as our IT department. So if you're ever having any issues with um, connecting to the network or have um, issues with your personal laptop, they can take a look at that for you. So right behind me is the Farmer Administration Building. You'll hear it called the Admin for short. And so this is our oldest building on campus. It was built in 1901. So it's home to our College of Business and Education as well as our Behavioral Sciences Department. Professors' offices are there, classrooms are there. It's also home to a lot of different faculty and staff members' offices, including our president. So McCafferty Hall is also located in this building. And this is where we used to have chapel back in the day, but it's now been renovated and is used for on-campus events. Right out front, kind of where I'm standing, is our prayer walk so this is available for anyone on campus and alumni people come to just walk around and pray have some quiet time with the Lord there's also plaques along the way to prompt you for different prayer needs that you can pray for and then located next to our admin building is our Nelson Memorial Library and our graduate school so you can definitely take advantage of those services while you're a student here so now we're at the Hagee Communication Center. We call it the HCC. This is home to our College of Music and Communication Arts. So if you are a theater major, digital media arts major, or music major, you're gonna have the majority of your classes right here in this building. So with our theater department, we have our performance hall located here. It's a great space for them to be able to put on quality productions. So our theater department also utilizes our Black Box Theater, which is a smaller room just for a more intimate space, smaller productions. And they're also able to host workshops for training students here on campus, as well as high schools in the area to come and just learn more about theater and how to improve their skills. So if you are a digital media arts major, we call that DMA here at SAGU. And there's so many great things here in this building for you to utilize. We have state-of-the-art equipment. They have their broadcasting room with a green screen, so they can do so many cool things there. They have their lab where they can edit and do all the things that they need to do to make their production really quality and come all together. They also have a screening room so that they can project their work on the big screen and be able to watch and enjoy the work that they've done throughout the semester. For all of our music majors, we are an all Steinway piano school. We're really proud to be able to say that. And we have quality state-of-the-art practice rooms that are soundproof and they're ready and available for you to reserve. Our choir room and jazz band room are also located here in this building. And our music majors also take part in using our performance hall as well for senior recitals and productions and things like that. So Einstein's Brothers Bagels is also located right here in the HCC. It's a great spot to hang out in between class or chapel, grab a bite to eat and some coffee, study with friends, or just take a break throughout your day. So I'm outside the Claxton Athletic Center and this is our third gym on campus. So it is home to our locker rooms for our sports teams and it's also where a lot of our coaches' offices are. But the gym in here is primarily used for fitness classes, recreational use, as well as our dodgeball tournament at the end of our Battle of the Dorms event in the fall semester. A little bit more about athletics, we are an NAIA Division I school. We're part of the Sooner Athletic Conference and we have a variety of sports um, for men and women. So if you're interested in becoming a SAGU athlete, make sure to fill out an athletic recruitment form on our website to get more information about that. Thank you so much for joining us today on this tour. I really hope to see you in person so you can schedule a visit online and we'd love to see you as a SAGU student here. Bye.